today we are going to start discussing the moles osmoles osmolality and osmolarity as we have started discussing the basic principles of osmosis and uh, we have discussed uh, in detail osmosis in the previous lecture now it's time to discuss these terminologies because all of these terminologies are very much important in explaining the process of osmosis and osmosis in turn is very much important uh, for the fluid exchange and osmotic equilibrium so what is basically a uh, mole and osmol so basically mole is the weight of a substance a chemical and it is basically a number of particles it is basically a number of particles of that specific element or that specific compound now we will take example and then we will uh, discuss these things so the first example we take is basically the glucose glucose now if we consider the formula of <clears throat> Uh, glucose it is like uh, six carbons 12 hydrogen ions and six oxygen c6 h12 and o6 now one mole of glucose or one mole of glucose uh, or sorry or one mole of any substance will every time contain this much particles <clears throat> 6.02 into the 10 raised to the power 23 this is avogadro's number this is basically avogadro's number get rose number and one mole of anything will contain this much particles now one mole of any substance any element will be different for example for if you talk about glucose one mole of glucose will contain 180 grams and these 180 grams will contain this much particle the get rose number particle 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 similarly if you talk about sodium chloride sodium chloride or nacl <clears throat> one mole of sodium chloride will contain 58.4 grams so basically it is the measurement of it is the measurement of the uh, number of particles which are present in one mole of any substance so one mole of sodium chloride is 58 grams and one mole of so, uh, glucose is 180 grams glucose one mole of glucose is 180 grams one mole of sodium chloride is 58 grams but both of these contain same number of particles that is 6.02 into 10 raised to the power 23 180 grams of glucose will contain 6.02 into 10 raised to the power 23 molecules 58.4 grams of sodium chloride will also contain 6.02 into 10 raised to the power 23 or Avogadro's number of particles similarly if we talk about sodium sulfate it is it will its mole one mole of sodium sulfate is 142.04 gram it is 142.04 gram but this 142.04 gram of sodium sulfate also contains this much particles 6.02 into 10 raised to the power 23 or Avogadro's number of particles so one mole basically of any substance one mole of any substance it basically shows that how much weight of that substance that element or that chemical or that compound will contain this much number of particles so in part in so in case of glucose 180 gram will contain this much particles in case of sodium chloride 58 grams will contain this much particles and in case of sodium chloride uh, sodium sulfate 142 grams will contain this much particle one mole one mole of glucose one mole of sodium chloride one mole of sodium sulfate each all of them will contain the, this much particles but the weight will not be the same the weight will be different in case of glucose the weight will be 180 gram the, in sodium uh, in case of sodium chloride it will be different in case of now this uh, this gram this weight has basically been derived from the the type of elements and the number of elements which are present in that compound because of the six carbon 12 hydrogen and six oxygens it is this weight has been derived and because of the two sodium and uh, one sulfur and four oxygen this weight has been derived but the number of particles in one mole will always be this much now coming to osmol osmol basically shows the number of particles it is not showing the number of particles in one mole it is basically not the count of number of particles in one mole rather osmol is the number of particles in a concentration in the solute concentration sorry in a concentration when something is present in water in a solution form when something is present in water in a solution form in the water solution the number of active particles basically shows the osmoles now if we talk about glucose glucose is basically one particle it is osmotically active one particle so one mole one mole of glucose will contain 6.02 into 10 raised to the power 23 osmotically active particles so one mole of glucose is basically equal to one osmol one mole of glucose is equal to one osmol because it is one particle you can see glucose is just one particle 
and the the mole is basically its weight the mole is basically its weight which will contain this much particles the mole is a weight which will contain this much particles mole is the weight which contains this much particles uh, this much particles for sodium chloride this much particles for sodium sulfate this much particles for glucose this is the moles but osmol simply means the the particles in a solution the active particles in a solution for but those active particles are not the same those active particles are not the same for example in one glucose one mole of glucose the, the the number of particles in 180 grams are 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 and the number of active particles are also this much but in case of sodium chloride once it is inside a solution once a solution is made once sodium chloride is in the water this sodium chloride basically splits into two particles here you see sodium chloride is having two particles in each particle the sodium and the chloride they are separately uh, osmotically active they are separate osmotically active so they are basically one mole of sodium chloride is having two osmoles osmol is basically the number of active particles in a solution mole is basically the molecular weight it is basically the weight which contains this much particles moles show the amount of that compound which contains this much particles but in this much uh, but in one mole in one mole the osmotic the osmotically active particles may sometimes remain the same or they may be double or they may be triple now in case of sodium chloride in case of sodium chloride one mole is 58.4 gram 54.8 grams contain 6.02 into the 10 to the power 23 particles but one sodium chloride is put in water and in the solution form the particles separate and they both the particles are osmotically active so the osmotically active particles which basically exert osmotic pressures are doubled they become doubled the molecule of glucose will not uh, uh, become double and they, it will act as a single molecule but in in case of sodium chloride they split and both the particles are osmotically active or they apply they basically play their role in the osmotic pressure so one mole of sodium chloride one mole of sodium chloride contains 58.4 grams and 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 molecules but the osmotically active molecules the osmotically active molecules in sodium chloride are 2 into 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 or you have to multiply it by 2 for the for the sodium chloride because the osmotic osmotically active molecules in sodium chloride are double once it is in the solution form what is it? once it is being put in the water so the the number of particles in the mole remains the same but osmotically active particles basically become double so one mole one mole of sodium chloride is basically two osmol per liter one mole of sodium chloride is two osmol per liter because both the particles in the sodium chloride are osmotically active so if we consider if we consider its mole so regarding its mole it's the number of particles remain the same but if we talk about osmoles which means the osmotically active particles in a solution which play their role in osmotic pressure that are basically double of this number they are basically double of this of avogadro's number then if we talk about another compound that is the sodium sulfate if sodium sulfate is considered it is put in water you see that the one mole of sodium sulfate is 142.04 g and 142.04 g contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 molecules but if sodium sulfate is put is put in water and a solution is formed in a solution all the three different the three different uh, uh, ions or the three different uh, atoms or electrolytes basically they separate the two sodium and one sulfate the two sodium and two sul uh, sulfate molecules the sodium molecules and the sulfate molecule they separate and all the three molecules of the sodium sulfate they become osmotically active they become osmotically active and they have a role in the osmotic pressure in the movement of water and in the exertion of osmotic uh, pressure so the one mole one mole the one mole of sodium sulfate or 142 g of so sodium sulfate contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 or avogadro's number of particle but the one or small one mole of sodium sulfate has three osmoles per liter one mole of sodium has three osmoles per liter because three molecules of sodium sulfate three molecules of sodium sulfate are separately active regarding osmosis so if we ca you count the number of osmotically active particles in sodium sulfate you have to multiply this number with 3 so to summarize it once again mole is the amount of something it is just the amount of something which contains a particular number or particular grams of that substance 
which contains this much particles for each and every compound it is different for glucose 180 grams basically is one mole and 180 gram will contain this much particles and even if it is put in a solution in the water its molecule will remain uh, it will its molecule will not divide and they will not be separately active inside a solution and even osmotically their particles will remain this much 6.02 newton to power 23 but if you talk about sodium chloride or one mole of sodium chloride will apply two osmoles of osmotic pressure because the particles of sodium chloride are double both the particles are separately active and both the particles basically separately apply the osmotic pressure so one mole of sodium chloride will contain 40 58 gram of pressure uh, sorry 58 gram of sodium chloride one mole will contain 58 gram and these 58 gram will contain this much particles but if we talk about the osmoles in sodium chloride, then this number, this Evaguero's number has to be multiplied with 2 because both the particles are separately active regarding osmoles, which is basically the activity in a solution. And if you talk about the sodium sulfate, then the one osmole will contain three osmoles because three separate ions, three separate molecules of the sodium sulfate are osmotically active. It's one mole contains 148 grams and these one, sorry, 142 grams, but in these 142 grams contain this much particles, but regarding osmoles, it's one mole will have three osmoles per liter because the, its active particles are three. They are triple in number as compared to this number. So mole is just a number of particles in a particular weight, but osmole is basically showing the number of osmotically active particles, which basically are present in a solution form in water and which are basically active regarding osmosis, which is basically the, uh, the movement of water regarding the presence of solution. So I hope this much explanation is sufficient uh, to differentiate os o mole and osmol. Now talking about the osmolality and osmolarity. If we talk about the number of osmoles, the number of osmoles per liter, for example, here we have mentioned two osmoles per liter, then it is called osmolarity. It is called osmolarity. But if instead of we, uh, per liter, we mention as kg, two osmol per liter, Kg, then it will be osmolality. So osmolality is the measure of osmoles per kg, while osmolarity is the measure of osmoles per liter. So if we take sodium chloride, for example, we take sodium chloride and we put it in one kg of water, for example, if one kg of water, then we will say it's osmo um, the number of osmoles or its osmolarity. We will mention it's sorry we will mention it as osmolality in one liter uh, one kg of water it will be its osmolality but if we consider one liter of water one liter of water then we will call it osmolarity so there is not a much difference between osmolality and osmolarity it just depends upon the amount of fluid which we consider in liters or kilograms if we consider it in uh, kilograms then we call it osmolality osmolality and if we consider it in liters then we consider it as osmolarity but most of the time we consider osmolarities we consider liters rather than kilograms so that's all about the uh, mole osmol osmolality and osmolarity hope you have understood this topic thanks a lot for watching the video